Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro is coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich. And tonight, we get to see the top team in the league. Wonder what it's like to coach the best team. Well, why wouldn't you, Doc? You certainly want to be standing behind that bench, but there are some challenges because you know the opposition is going to bring their best. They know that we're playing really well. They don't want to get embarrassed. So I think the challenge is to continue to get the focus from your team, play the way that you have, but understand is that you're going to have to bring your work boots here tonight to have any chance of winning this game. Boston's coaching staff has prepared them extremely well. Regardless of the situation, they never change. If they're up a goal, down a goal, they stay with their same game plan and adjust accordingly. That's why they're on top of the league standings. Let's look at the starting netminders. Tuka Rask, grandson of a local team goalie in his native Finland, but has a Stanley Cup and an Olympic medal with lots more in front of him. This man's the goalie again. He'll man the crease like he often does, looking to give a solid performance for the visitors. As we get set to drop the puck for this game, all eyes are on Steven Stamkos, who is almost always in the running for the Rocket Richard Trophy for most goals. We have begun our contest. The Bruins didn't play well enough to get the win in their last game. Their coach has asked them to get back to their game tonight. Blocked. Try to clear the puck. Pitching it to Chara. Directing that one to Pasternak. He could start some danger here. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Got his stick on it. Tampa Bay's on the move up the wing. Let's it go. Pat it away. And the puck is grabbed by Patrice Bergeron. Moving it to Pasternak. Shoots one. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Ray's always got something on his mind. Let's hear from him now. Raz had an excellent season so far. He's got a high winning percentage, way more wins than losses. He's made enough saves that gives his team a chance to get their feet underneath them when they don't play very well. But he's been pretty consistent this year. We'll see if the opposition can get somebody in his eyes tonight, make it difficult for him to see the puck. Thanks very much, Ray. Puck covered, whistle blown. A little under four minutes half passed. Nothing on the scoreboard has changed. Still a pair of zeros. Boston's waiting to get things organized in the defensive zone. Let's a shot go. And we get a penalty here. The referee strides over to hand it out. The Bruins get a minor penalty for goalie interference. He's trying to do his job, not allow the goaltender to see the puck, but unfortunately, he bumps him a bit. That's goaltender interference. Tampa Bay's power play numbers have been off the charts this year. They've been absolutely dominant with the man advantage. However, their opponent's been much the same. I'll be interested, guys, to see who takes an unnecessary penalty and if they have to pay a price. Fires. He caught it and he holds on. Defensive zone win. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Tampa Bay's moving well through the neutral zone. Gains the blue line. Good stick down on the ice, so nothing good happening there. Passing one off now to Nash. Flings it. A terrific scoring chance denied. Pitching this one to Palat. And he gains the zone. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Boston's done it. Back at full strength. Well, they certainly weren't going to score, guys, with the way that they set that power play up. Too stationary. They didn't shoot the puck. What a save. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Pass attempt to Nash. Nicely into the zone. Great glove grab. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Oh, guys, that looked from my vantage point like it was going to go in. When the puck changed directions, it became a very difficult save for the goalie.
The Bruins win it. Missed. Oh, what a great... He scores! Oh, when you talk to goaltenders, they say it's tough to pick up that puck on the backhand. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered. But there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. The and the faceoff's won. By number 37. Gets in. What'll he do? Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. The Bruins want to generate something up the wing. Corral. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Boston's team leans on him for offensive production. They need him to score on the power play. They need him to score five on five. And he's delivered all season long as he's among the highest points totals in the league. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. Trying the probe up the wing. Right to the point. Corralled by Miller. Chip to Callahan. Oh, he staggered him. And now it's directed to Bergeron. Skilled play by Hetman. And he is reefed. Looks like he arrived at the rink in a bad mood. Maybe he missed his wake-up call. That early hit is an angry one. Oh, broke it up. He's got that point pass. Hammered, outstanding work with the glove. Wanting to generate something up the wing. Big drive, got his glove on it. Huge hit, possession's gone. Save. He covers and holds on. Boston's defense hasn't been perfect. They've given up some quality chances. But when you got a goalie behind you with a glove like that, he can bail you out at the perfect time. A little under seven minutes remaining in the first. The Bruins ahead, 1-0. Boston's got it again. Pass cut. Gains the zone. Let's it go. Didn't miss by much. He was trying to be a little bit too fine there. That's why he missed the net. Fires. Great glove save, but it's loose. Takes that pass. Point blast. Oh, deflected away. Recollected. Trying to go to Kalorn. Shot on. Score! And this one is tied. Lawrence, quick hands allowed him to snap that one off and score the goal. Sometimes your best isn't enough. This is a perfect shot up over a desperation attempted glove save. The Bruins win the draw. What's next? Snapping a pass to Bacchus. Toward the net. Wonderful work and goal. Freezes play. Been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. Quick on the draw. Oh, what a great keep. Tries to get it on net. Gets it back. Back on his stick. Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. The Bruins have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Tampa Bay's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. 
Good job on the draw. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. And he dumps it in. The Bruins are controlling in their own end. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. Knocked right down to a knee, and it's loose. A covered whistle blown. Good reach there. Stood up there. Puck is thrown to Johnson. A shot. Oh, he got that. Boston's in possession and moving up the wing. Shoots. Paddled aside. A whistle and a rest. Well, shooter can't do much more than that, guys. That's an excellent shot that he delivered to the net, but the goaltender makes the save. Beat him on that one. That shot hit a man. Tampa Bay's power play did not do it for them. This is when coaches get really frustrated. The players are on the ice. They've worked on this power play multiple times at practices, and yet they just don't seem to have any cohesion to get a real good power play on the board. The first period is over, and both teams struck, but only one time. Automobile-related pollution is on the increase worldwide. Do your part in take public transit to from the game. Tampa Bay's collected the game-tying goal, and that will mean an awful lot to them when they head out to the ice for the start of the next period. We'll return after these words. High score, second period underway. Nicely into the zone. A shot. That hits somebody. Looking to Marshan. Let's it go. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a faceoff right near. Solid, clean win. All a part of generating an offense. A little pass off from the goal. Gathered in by Stamkos. Into the end of attack. Oh, and he's hammered. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Stamkos looks rattled here. He's injured going back to the bench slowly. And he drops back to get things set again. And he steps in. Possession seized by McDonough. Muscled right off. Shoots! Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Didn't get through. Stays on side to the middle. What a strong shot. He scores! Just had some chances in this game. He finally scores on the backhand. And so he's in good position here, but the shooter's known to be a real accurate shooter. He doesn't have much room, and he doesn't miss it. Boston's gotten a one-goal lead, and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. The 
Bruins control at center ice. Scored by number 61. Takes a shot. Loose puck gathered by Kunitz. And he gains the zone. And the pick up. Pitching it to Nash. Onside. Gathered up again by Krejci. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Directing that one to Kalorn. Makes that play deep. Taken out along the boards. The physical play in this game has really picked up, and there's a perfect example of that. Fires a shot. Off a body. It's one of those rare games where there's not much scoring, but there's been plenty of chances. The goaltenders have been excellent. They score! And they've tied the game up! We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting A, the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Cursed by a broken stick. Why? No worse feeling than a shooter when you have a great scoring chance and your stick breaks. Eight minutes, 18 seconds. Propelled to Callahan. A little pass from his goalie here. No further that rush. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Just past the halfway mark of the second period. Both teams have connected twice. The Bruins with a clean win on the draw. Boston's moving the puck up the wing. On the outside, a shot. He scores! That's a strong, quick answer. This is one shot I wish more young hockey players would use. Everybody wants to take the big slapper. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick it comes off your stick. And that was quick. The goalie thinks he's got the bottom half of the net covered. Obviously he doesn't as this goes by him on the low stick side. The Bruins have taken the lead by one. What fork in the road are we headed for with this face off? Zone to zone to Bergeron. Let's it go. Oh, he's going to shake his head when he thinks about this one. He's right in the garden spot between the hash marks, and he misses the net. Oh, what a stop. A missed opportunity from this close in. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Outstanding play. Good quick poke check there. Gets in, looks over his options here. Tampa Bay's continuing on in the defensive zone. Good intercept. And in flight over the line. That one's off the frame. Snaps a shot. Skill play by Steven Stamkos. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. Marshan's getting a minor for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Well, the power plays had some good opportunities so far here tonight. They have to stay with their game plan. Eddie, I'm with you on that. Boston Good face-off win. One-timer. Score! And the game is even. Sean 
Oklahoma's quick release was the key to that one-timer. Well, that's a beauty, Edzo. That ripples the top of the net. The goaltender's got to be able to stay on his feet as long as he can if he's going to be able to stop such a perfect shot. Tampa Bay's got this game even up now, and we're still in the second period. They've got the draw. Scored on the power play by number six, Anton Strong. It's an onside play. Number 21, Has it in his own end. And the puck is seized by Miller. 15 minutes, 34 seconds. Long lead pass to Suster. He's pinned and held at the boards. And it's kicked away by Callahan. Got it at the point. And he gets it back. Dominance right now. The Lightning were hoping for a shift like this. Pressure mounting here. Slides it to Strawman. Hatchets one. No room for a pass. Still no shot. Balls his way along. Tremendous pressure. Pass across at the point. The shot blocked. Poked away. Puck collected. Moving it to Nash. He's in on an onside play. Shoots. Score! So I got a good look at this one. He's in the butterfly. It looks from my position like he's got the entire net covered. Obviously, there's a little bit open. Boston's gotten the lead here late in the second period. Do we have one more surprise left in this period, or do we wait to the third? The Bruins got that faceoff win. Now what? Gets in, and he'll look over his options. The cursed goals are the ones in the first minute and the last. Will we see one here? That hit somebody. 18 minutes, 20 seconds. Tampa Bay is continuing to probe up the wing. Passing one off now to Bacchus. Carried right through at center. Shoots it off. Score! Not much time left, but enough for that one. Goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position, let it go and beat the goaltender clean. A lot of times the goaltender feels like his positioning is perfect and he's got the net covered. Guess what? He doesn't. Boston's goal gives them a lead by two. Raises a question two here in the second period. Do they start to play it a little conservative or do they go at them and try and make this three right away? minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Time to look at the shots on goal. 25 for Boston and 14 for the Lightning. Hey fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster which will give away. The Bruins end the period with a two goal advantage. We focus on this one. The one that made it two goals and we'll have more in just a moment. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? Tampa Bay's coaching staff, Doc, has to be pretty pleased the way they played through the first 40 minutes of play. One area of concern has been their offense. They need to take advantage of all the time of possession and finally put the puck into the back of the net. Snaps off a wrist shot. Score! So here in his rookie season, he has gotten his first NHL hat. First three goal night as a rookie. This team has found a gem in this young skater. A team never knows what they're going to get from a rookie. They're happy he's in the lineup, but they don't know how quickly he's going to feel comfortable in the NHL. Three goals in one game will let you know he's ready to contribute. 
And so as his team focuses on getting the game started up again, he's undoubtedly still thinking about the three goals and the first time he's ever gotten that in this league. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Knocked off the puck. On to Stamkos. Let's it go. Stared him down and made the save. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Shoots one. Robbery there. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Good help for the centerman. Keeps it going up the wing. Slides it to the point. Superb defensive play by Bergeron. And a save. Pitching this one to Bergeron. And they are in. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Oh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Puck covered, whistle blown. What a night for him. The puck's followed him all over the ice all night long. He's been able to take advantage of the chances that he's had. And now he's got his first three-goal game. A little under four minutes have passed. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Into the attacking end. Good, quick stick. Puck loose now picked up. Good jab with the stick there. Nash's drive. He beat everything but the post. Group shot doesn't add to the lead, but they don't really need it. They're so far out in front, they've almost lapped the field. And it's a pleasure to bring in the third voice on our crew. Brinkside, here's Ray Ferrar. We'll look back through the three goals. Every time he's had the puck, he's been able to find open ice, and his shots have been perfect. Ray, he's certainly one of the three stars in my book. from the winger. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Boston's continuing to probe up the wing. Solid glove save. Usually when you see shove it and push it after a whistle, it leads up to something bigger, and I mean a lot bigger. Boston's got another win. Wonderful save. Tampa Bay's given up far too many chances tonight defensively. Their goalie's been great. And to top things off, they can't score at all. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. A little over seven minutes play. Bruins just keep building on that earlier lead. They're up now by three. Nice face-off work. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Moved along and in. Free puck off a defender. That roadblock was set up. To Nash. Nash's team has had their way tonight. He's got two of their goals. Pass attempt to Kalorn. Takes that pass from the other point. Save! Looking for a better lane. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Looking for options. Picked up by the defense. Gets in. What'll he do? This is overwhelming. Great defense. Need to get rid of it. This is an easy game to comment on because it's been nothing but goals, goals, goals. There's not been many saves to talk about. The goaltenders have had a difficult night defensively. They haven't had much help either as both teams are filling the net. Terrific shot, but a great point-blank save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Sends to the point. 
Puck loose. Strong defensive play by David Backus. Knocked off the puck. Got it in the slot. Hammered. The puck is free, now taken up by David Backus. Out in front of shot. A lightning-like club save. And he steps across the line. Oh, and that shot is way off. Oh, you miss an opportunity like that. You better not be in a hurry to get back to that bench. Good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. And at an angle to McDonough. Marched narrowly inside. And now it's directed to Posternock. Up the wing, he continues possession. Puck covered, whistle blown. The Bruins have a great opportunity over the next stretch of games to really come together as a team, execute their game plan, and get some wins. It's not going to be easy. It never is in this league. The best players and teams find a way, Doc. Boston's got that faceoff win. Terrific interception. Moves it to the corner. Slid. Save! The Bruins leave their own end. Hammered. Terrific save. He covers and holds on. Just under three minutes to be played. The Bruins have built on their earlier two-goal lead. Their advantage is now three. Oh, he made him stumble. And the call is icing. A legitimate call here late in the game. Tampa Bay has got a face-off win. He gains the zone from the outside. Blockered away. Laid on to Bergeron. Last minute to go in the third. He throws it there. Trying to go to Kunitz. Moves up the wing. Took that wrist shot. Oh, what a chance, what a save. Scorches one. Took that right away. Score! They hope to make a change. You want to score goals, especially off of rebounds? Go to this area. Raz not too happy with his rebound control on this one. The first shot is stopped, but he left the puck sitting right in an area where the shooter can get to it. He beats him on the low stick side. Tampa Bay's deficit is now just two. Third period, still time to go. Let's go, guys. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Tampa Bay is getting the goalie to the bench. Net empty, extra man out. Strong play, good reach. Taken on by Suster. Let's it go. The Bruins are skating it back in their own end. Chip to Nash. Net empty. Score! His goal puts this one away. Everybody should head for the exits. That's a good feeling on the bench. You've locked it up now with the empty netter. Boston's taking that neutral zone face off. Let's it go. Two sticks together, they cancel. Game over. Tampa Bay's streak of futility has continued. Another loss in this one. 54 seconds.
So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.